so cute with his hand fabric. I love this. Voices do carry. I ended up getting that for 50 cents a yard. One. <laughs> We're talking. A bit further than all others. Three o'clock in the morning for weeks, the Lord would wake me up, and I didn't know what. It was just weird every day, every morning at three o'clock in the morning, and I finally said, what, 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 Lord? It's like, I want you to buy a sewing machine. And I, I really, I opened up one eye and I looked around, I thought he's not, can't possibly be talking to me. I didn't know you could buy sewing machines. But he was, and so she did. Just a simple $85 sewing machine from Walmart. <laughs> and it didn't stop. And he um, started waking me up again in the middle of the night, take it out of the box and use it. Before Sue Desentel put the pedal to the metal, there was this. Never sewed until I was 55. And I couldn't understand the directions. I couldn't understand. I started watching YouTube videos. I never even watched YouTube. And um, I had to watch it 87 times to learn how to thread the machine. And I'm just like, Lord, you know I'm old. <laughs> Sue jumped into the spool head first. I thought that's why God invented Walmart. First sewing for her disabled grandchild. She is my motivation. She is my inspiration. You know, at one time they told us she would probably never clap her hands, but she claps every day for herself. And Sue sews every day. I'm thinking, why didn't I get a manicure? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute with this hand fabric. I love this. And she's not alone. I learned the pressing. That was yes, so important. So important. Dozens of women poured their hearts into clap your hands, all the while prayers were being answered. We'd be down to three dollars and I'd say, Lord, if you want this to continue, I have to have money. And four separate times, different people came to my house and they never do that. Knocked at the door and said they wanted to give me a hundred dollars in cash so I could get some more pellets or more, or more. I mean, who does that? The nonprofit produces therapeutic products like weighted blankets, <laughs> items that would set families back hundreds of dollars. One more thing they have to pay for and uh, they can't afford it. And so who suffers? The kids suffer. Not here, not in this area. <laughs> and 100% free all the time. A glaring need met. The pieces have come together. Oh yeah. One stitch. Kathy's a worker. At a time. The biggest majority of, of parents is that they, they cry. They'll write me and say, I'm, I'm sitting here in tears because this is the first time my child has ever slept through the night. I mean, what kind of a payday is that? <laughs> That's the best payday ever, you know? You doing good? All because this grandma <laughs> was still long enough to listen. We all want one thing, is for the kids to do the best they can do, and I've got a personal stake in that. And faithful enough to act.